All right, this is Jason with the Primal Outdoors channel, and tonight I'm going to show you guys how to cook a quick and easy meal with your cast iron skillet over the campfire. A lot of times when I'm out like this, I'll do some pre-preparation at home, but tonight I didn't really have that opportunity. So I just stopped at the grocery store and picked up a couple of simple items, uh, some sausages, and an Uncle Ben's jambalaya uh, ready to eat rice. And, and this is a microwave deal and all you have to do is actually microwave, but I'm gonna show you tonight how we can cook this and, and add this meat with your cast iron skillet. There's a couple other things that I'm gonna add. I just did go ahead before I left the house and threw in a little bit of paste picante sauce. That just kind of helps flavor it up. And then I have a bottle of water because uh, we're gonna add a little bit of water so because the rice, like I said, is already cooked. So what we want, don't want it to do is just dry out in the skillet. So we're gonna add a little bit of water to the skillet just to kind of help keep that rice moist. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we gotta do is cut up our, cut up our sausages into small chunks. All right, so I'm just cutting this up into small chunks and I'm just gonna, I'm just using my uh, chopping block here that I use for splitting firewood. Probably not the most sanitary, but by the time it all cooks up, it'll, be, it'll all be safe. Now, while I'm getting these things cooked up, another thing you could be doing is put your cast iron skillet into the fire, uh, make a little bed of coals and place it into the fire so that that way your cast iron skillet is warming up. Uh, it's always best to put food into your cast iron skillet uh, when it's already hot. That way it's less likely to stick. So a couple items you're gonna find useful when you're cooking with cast iron over a fire is a set of tongs and a long handled spatula, a stainless steel spatula. You don't wanna use any type of like plastic or a composite spatula because it'll just melt in the cast iron. So make sure that whatever utensils you're using is are stainless steel. Another thing that you're gonna probably wanna have is some way to be able to grab the pot or grab your cast iron skillet when it's hot. And I use a, a set of leather gloves, just plain old uh, leather gloves. Now that my, now that my uh, sausages are all cut up, I'm just gonna go ahead and get them going in the skillet. The skillet's already been in the fire for a while now, so it should be ready to go. Now you can just use your long handle spatula and kind of work them around, move them around a little bit and just let them kind of cook up a little bit. Let them just, I don't know, let them cook for just a few minutes in the campfire, it doesn't take long. They'll, they'll brown up pretty fast. Another handy thing about having the gloves is when, even with the long-handled skillet, or the long-handled, uh, I'm sorry, the long-handled spatula, your hand can get pretty warm when you're working, just stirring the food around. So just kind of keep stirring that until it's pretty well cooked. Because the rice is already, like I said, the rice is already cooked, so it just needs to be warmed up. So it doesn't need to be in the skillet very long, so you pretty much want to make sure the meat is all the way cooked. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add the rice. So you just rip it open and just dump it right over the top of your meat. And then like I said, take a little bit of water and add just a little bit of water to the pan, probably about maybe a quarter cup or so. And then just make sure to start stirring it right away and let that and break up that rice. Now, like I said, the one thing I like to add to add a little more pizzazz is just grab some hot sauce of your favorite type and just pour a little bit right over the top. That'll just give it a little extra kick. 
Now go ahead and stir that in. That's already smelling really good. Probably let it cook there for just a couple more minutes and it'll be ready to eat. All right, so that should be good. We'll just pull her out. Put it on our little stump here. And we'll go ahead and dish up, dish up and be ready to eat. Alright, well, so let's see how this tastes. Not too bad. It's not going to probably win any jambalaya cooking co uh, contest, but for a quick and down and dirty meal while you're out in the field, it's pretty dang good. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. I uh, appreciate any comments you guys have. And if you aren't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys again outside.